Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how to create a nice image hover effect using HTML and CSS. This is the effect. I have an image right here and when I hover over it, as you can see, it appears um, some nice uh, gradient and uh, along with some text. So it's uh, pretty nice. Before we get started, if you are new here on this channel, I'm posting videos that are designed to help you become a better web developer so that you can earn more money and improve the quality of your life. If that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that sus subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any, any of the new videos that I upload. With that being said, let's get started. So I have uh, an empty folder here on my desktop and uh, I'm gonna open it with my uh, uh, text editor, which in my case is brackets. So I'm gonna go right click, open as brackets project, wait for it to open up, close this uh, error, and now I'm gonna create the index.html file, the style.css, and the folder called img for the image. I'm also going to go ahead and grab this image and place it in the IMG folder. Alright, uh, let's also open this in the browser. As you can see, it's empty. Go to brackets, do the index.html file, give it a basic structure, change the title to image hover effect. I'm going to link our style.css, so link style.css. And uh, the markup will be pretty simple. I'm going to have a div with a class of content, so content. And inside here, another div with a class of inner text. And below this, a paragraph. I'm going to say beautiful, uh, so woman, beautiful woman. Okay, this is it for the markup. Let's refresh it. As you can see, the text is right here. Now I'm going to go to the style.css and uh, let's start with the styling. First I'm going to create some space here, come back, I'm going to select everything with the asterisk, so, and also use the before and after pseudo selectors. I'm going to give it a margin of 0, padding 0, a box sizing property set it to border box, for the body I'm going to say font family Arial sans serif and the background color give it a dark gray. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to select the the div with the class of content. So dot content. I'm going to give it a height of 600 pixels, a width of uh, 1000 pixels. A background image, use URL and select the image pathway. I'm also going to give it uh, some other properties, background, size, cover. Uh, and now let's center it. I'm going to say position, set it to absolute. Uh, top 50%, left 50%, transform, translate minus 50%, minus 50%. Okay, and also give it a border, two pixels, solid, three, three, three. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm gonna select the, the inner text div, so that inner text. Uh, and I'm gonna, the, gonna give it a background of uh, 2D, 8 dd3 a height of 100% um, an opacity of 0 I'm going to comment this out for now let's scroll a little bit and the transition opacity 0 0.5 seconds so now as you can see it's covered with the color uh, so I'm going to uncomment this Okay, so now we need to create a hover effect. We probably shouldn't have named this inner text, more like inner overlay or something, but we'll leave it like that. It really doesn't matter what you name the class. Uh, content column hover and select the div with the inner text class and set the opacity to 
let's see as you can see when I hover over it uh, it uh, comes with a nice overlay and now I'm gonna select the content in the paragraph the paragraph inside the content div give it a color of white so FFF uh, text transform uppercase position absolute top 50% we're gonna center it right now left 50% uh, transform translate minus 50% minus 50% uh, font size increase it to let's say 40 pixels and uh, give it an opacity of 0 and transition transition opacity 0 0.5 seconds now content hover P I'm gonna give it an opacity of 1 and that should be all we needed to do as you can see if I hover over it uh, we have the nice overlay and also the text right here and if I hover out as you can see it disappears and it, uh, it's the image so uh, that's all for this video if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button uh, maybe share this video or leave a comment below if you have any questions make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video take care